Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 24th, 2020. So, my goodness, good strong moves last week for our close, beautiful bullish patterns, great trends. One has to wonder how much longer this can continue, but this morning, all you can see is a sea of bulls and a really, really strong push to the upside this morning. So let's take a look at the markets here and the technicals and see what we've got going on here. But if you guys don't don't mind, let's take a look at these tremendous trends that are just beautiful overall with really strong patterns and as you can see here beautiful upside trend this move this consolidation and then pushing on through that's one of the most common patterns that we see in the market and we've seen that several times before we pull back and rest and consolidate and move on higher so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's grab ourselves something to drink and let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we are seeing tremendous bullishness with the market gapping up. We've got um, Asian markets that were up solidly overnight, but European markets are soaring this morning and that's helping to lift U.S. markets as well. So you can see we're looking at a substantial gap up. And although the Dow is still about 5% below its breakout high, this is going to be a substantial move up this morning and uh, possibly a move up where we could challenge some price resistance in the chart. Now, one of the things we always have to consider when we get a massive gap up like this, <clears throat> I always want to consider the possibility that this is this could create that pop and drop where we gap up in the morning, all of that. Um, bullish energy kind of gets um, pushed through first thing in the morning and then we kind of settle in and pull back. Now hopefully that's not the case this morning and right now it would be hard to even imagine that uh, the bulls won't just keep pushing but it's something you always have to think about on a big gap open particularly when we're gapping up to new record highs and two of the indexes were challenging resistance in two of the other indexes that that possibility does exist so i'm not trying to put any prediction on anything um, suggesting that that's what's going to happen but we always want to consider that because it's so easy as a trader when we see all of that bullishness in the morning to kind of lose focus and and um, feel that um, fear of missing out that desire to chase and we're going to want to be careful with that first thing this morning, just making sure we're not rushing in to um, that potential of a top. Let's wait and see if we actually get follow through buying this morning before we uh, jump heavily into new trades. So let's watch that close. Right now, if we take a look, we're certainly in a bullish pattern. There's nothing in this chart that suggests bearishness at this moment in the chart and as a matter of fact if we look at our moving averages we're um, very very bullish in the market the only thing that i can point to as a bit of a concern is that we're extended and when i say extended if i were to measure here from this morning's gap up open expect expectancy anyway if we do gap up to there let's notice that if we pull back just to the 500 or the 50 day moving average that that is about a six percent decline and um, if we take a look at the nasdaq it's a nearly nine percent decline so we are quite extended in the market doesn't mean we can't continue to do that but that's about the only thing i can point to um, in that cautionary tale of just be careful um, rushing or f having that fear of missing out just in case we do get that pop and drop today. 
Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also extremely bullish. Nothing in this chart suggests bearishness. We're gapping up substantially this morning. We will set a new record high in the SPY. One thing I gotta say is some of these stocks are literally priced to perfection and sometimes I think even beyond perfection right now. The big techs continue to lead the markets higher and I just have to consider that at some point in time, we could see some of those big techs running into a buying wall where we slam into that wall. There's no more money coming into those big techs and they start to pull back with those big techs now dominating and, and really five or six companies dominating the the indexes if they just get a modest pullback we could see substantial selling coming into the market could actually show us that problem now i'm not suggesting that's going to happen today but we will want to keep our eyes on that possibility and not become overly complacent should that condition um, come around so just make sure you stay focused here on this price action but right now SPY bullish is all get out new record highs this morning gapping to new record highs and that always makes me just a little bit nervous let's take a look at that NASDAQ bullish 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 nothing in here that is not bullish strong strong trend um, and as I mentioned if we're gapping up to here let's just notice that if I just pull that back to the 50-day moving average um, we're looking at 8.7 nearly a 9% pullback just to come back and test that 50 notice how long it's been since we've tested it so we have to consider the possibility that that could occur at any one time but in this environment of printing and printing and printing of more money fomc just shoveling cash into the economy um, maybe it doesn't exist for a while i don't know how long how much longer we're going to do this before we can kind of prove that the market should be able to stand on its own i mean how much of a wave of print money do we need before the market stands on its own at new record highs but we will have to see um let's watch that close and then iwm iwm also very very strong this morning gapping up now this has been the weakest of the indexes and you can see we ran up here and hit this resistance high area pulled back this morning we're gapping up but we're not breaking out this morning so we're getting that move up there's a little bit of concern in the oil sector a little concern still in the financial sector that's kind of struggling in here um, seeing a little bit of struggle in here on iwm so watch that close as we test some resistance levels here in iwm let's take a look at the vix now that VIX is kind of an interesting chart um, and I mentioned this uh, a lot um, it's still odd to me and still odd to me that we are maintaining an elevation in this VIX that we would normally or typically not see when we're making new record highs in the market typically when we're doing those new record highs we're down in the teens and um, mid to low teens when we're setting those new record highs in the market in the VIX but we have this um, a market sh setting up here in 20 some handles um, in the VIX now we certainly have this downtrend in play and that bullishness this morning that big bullishness in this morning might finally break this support level in the VIX and actually drop that down in here below that level that would be nice to see and it would actually be um, a little bit more of rational uh, price action in the VIX um, at these new record highs if we could start pushing um, that fear down it's just kind of an interesting situation that we've remained so ele elevated and haven't been able to really break it down now we do have if I mark some support on here we do have some considerable price support as you can see lots of price action right through here and if we break down below that we might finally be able to slip on down and start filling some of these gaps and um, 
easing up on some of that fear in the market. We'll see. Let's watch that close. However, if a pop and drop were to occur, uh, we might actually see that spike. And I don't think we're going to have a major problem with that at all unless we actually break above something uh, like that in that downtrend and hold a higher low. Right now, not seeing that in the market. If we take a look at um, T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio, this actually gives us a little bit of um, happiness here this morning, I guess, because we did pull back last week. And what we saw here, even as we were setting new record highs in the market, we had the majority of stocks actually declining. So we were setting new record highs, but um, we had more stocks in decline than we did have rallying. And as you can see, we pulled back substantially in T2122. Unfortunately, this big gap up this morning I would expect that big gap up is going to push us right back up into here into that bearish reversal zone. So we're going to do it all at once in an overnight reversal. Um, pop up here it, um, into that bearish reversal zone. And let's keep an eye on that. That's where that pop and drop possibility comes into play if we push all the way back up there. Let's watch that uh, carefully. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to sell off. Remember, we we can stay up here um, depending on how um, uh, resilient those bulls are. They certainly have proven themselves to be extremely resilient. So let's watch that up here. Um, we could kind of Continue to drift around up here. Um, let's watch that close. And then let's take a look at T2101. You know, this has been kind of a perplexing uh, market for sure and for certain. And we saw a really good move the last couple of days um, um, in um, T2101. That's that market, the absolute market breadth indicator. We need to see T2101 actually responding a little bit better in here. We need to see that breaking this downtrend with bullishness, not bearishness. We need to see that pushing up because we notice our market breadth indicator, our 50 is about right across down through the 200. That's not what we would typically want to see in a market setting new record highs. So let's watch that carefully as well. Well, if we can con continue to have just a very select few pushing the markets up, that raises us um, raises that concern here with T2101. Um, however, if we see that broader based move, more stocks moving up. Um, that would help us out an awful lot and give us some confidence in this upside move. So let's watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And there is little to nothing um, on this economic calendar that we have to be concerned about or worry about today. As you can see, nothing in here um, that is of major consequence. We won't start getting some of that until maybe tomorrow. And let's keep in mind, we're going to have the Jackson Hole symposium kicking off and the market is really hopeful that um, they will see the FOMC continuing to uh, push that money into the market, continuing those operations, looking for some clarity on their policy actions this week. So watch that closely, and it's going to be extremely important considering we are riding a wave of printed money that's holding this market up right now. Will they continue that? How long will they continue that? All of those are questions um, the market is hoping will get resolved at the Jackson Hole Symposium this week. Keep in mind as we move on, on through the week and I shouldn't have pulled that calendar away quite so quickly. Keep in mind we even have Jerome Powell speaking here um, later on. So and that that's where uh, this week and that's where that Kansas City that symposium um, is really going to start kicking in. So um, a lot of attention will be coming to that toward the end of the week and whether or not the FOMC is going to continue to pound the market with printed money. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I suspect um, at this point, uh, there's no sense of laying off the gas just yet. <laughs> so um, 
I expect them to continue to push on that gas pedal pretty hard to continue to drive this market higher. Let's take a look at um, uh, our earnings calendar this morning. Now on earnings, we have 20 some companies reporting earnings today. Um, we'll want to um, watch a couple of those carefully, not too many. Um, um, would be in what I would call notable um, category. But one that is, is this Pan W. Pan W, as you can see, has been in a beautiful upside trend here in this chart, looking very, very strong breaking through resistance levels, holding up, had a little bit of pullback yesterday. And if you notice here this morning, it is gapping up. So a good report here apparently this morning on Pan W. Let's keep an eye on that one. It's looking pretty good. And the only other one that I could really come up with as a particular notable today, um, QFIN might be something you want to pay attention to um, reporting today. And as you can see, we have a pretty nice pattern in here. And we're breaking substantially above that this morning on this gap up open. So watch that closely um, today. A few other companies out there reporting, but really nothing of particular note um, overall. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you could um, s click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you feel like these videos are worthy, if you could please leave a uh, quick just a, a brief comment and click that thumbs up button helps us to continue to grow the channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that as you guys know I've been struggling with a little bit of a, uh, a health issue just um, an internal infection that I think um, this weekend I arrested I'm recovering very very well um, I should be back to answering these comments so um, Thank you for everyone who does that. And I apologize, I haven't been able to answer a lot of those here in the last few days. So let's take a look at some of these stocks that are setting up. And remember, every time I post one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is merely something that I use as part of the education of what I do here in the market. So uh, please keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, stocks like J&J. and J&J and J showing lots of strength here. And I'm going to adjust this line over here. And notice that we've broken through some resistance levels in the chart. We're still challenged by some resistance levels above. But J&J, &J, we know, um, is coming um, coming full circle with a lot of federal money uh, to produce some um, vaccine um, here soon. So as we're pushing up, um, let's watch for this rest or pullback in here that could occur at any time in that possibility that J&J &J can move on higher. Looking good overall. Take a look at John Deere. John Deere really, really strong last week, uh, moving up on an earnings report. And notice that it is continuing that move this morning, looking bullish, uh, very bullish in this chart. John Deere showing lots of strength. Any rest or pullback in here toward the trend sets up an opportunity. Um, a very different stock that you might want to keep an eye on for a possible short would be Ford. Now, Ford has had um, a little bit better um, expected or expectancy in, in their earnings. Um, they've got some new vehicles coming out. It seems to be um, um, very well received by the market itself, but pulling back. So let's watch this and notice what we're doing in here. We have that possibility of breaking this support. Now, normally I'm not looking at any short trades unless the market is going short, but we, we want to start considering, um, because we're so extended in the market, the possibility that we may want to start building a list of possible short trades in the market. 
if we break this support in here and hold it as resistance, Ford's not looking too good here. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, kind of an interesting chart to be paying attention to. As you guys know, I have been watching uh, McDonald's. McDonald's holding up very, very strong. There's no sign that this is going to stop just yet. And we, But we do want to note that we're pushing into some resistance levels in that chart. Um, that possible breakout could be coming um, here soon. We've got a lot of work to push up through there, but McDonald's holding up very, very strong um, overall. Anything in the building sector, uh, incredibly strong right now. Um, home building is just tearing it up here. And Masco being a supplier, um, looking good. Take a look at Masco. Take a look at um, um, Fastenal. Fastenal, beautiful breakout of the pop out of the box type pattern here. This beautiful consolidation um, right in here showing strength and that possibility Fastenal breaking out. Anything for the home builders, um, Lennar. Uh, very, very strong, as you can see, holding this bullish trend moving higher. Uh, KBH, uh, very, very strong. So keep an eye on those home builders looking um, incredibly bullish here at the moment. I think we also need to be keeping an eye on our shippers um, with more and more folks just, you know, being pushed into the buying online. These shippers are doing very, very well. Um, FedEx holding up really strongly. This is a nice little consolidating move over here. Let's keep in mind that possibility that it may have to continue to consolidate for a while, but we can also set that trend to a steeper move. So let's watch that if that um, starts moving on higher. I also got to say the same thing um, on UPS. UPS very, very strong in this move and this trend. Let's watch for that next opportunity for that upside. Lots of great stocks out there, more than you can really shake a stick at um, that could potentially set up. Take a look at KHC. KHC is one of those companies that has benefited tremendously from coronavirus. And as people stock up on food and with coronavirus continuing to, to be kind of a problem, um, schools closing back down and things like that, we want to watch this in here for that possibility to pop off of that trend. Um, we also want to keep a pretty close eye, I think, on GLD and silver. Gold and silver could improve, particularly if we learn more from um, the Jackson Hole symp Symposium that we're just going to keep the pedal on the gas and keep printing money and keep those operations going here in the market. Um, we might want to keep an eye on GLD um, as we continue to devalue our currency by printing and printing and printing, uh, propping up the market. So let's watch those as we progress throughout the week. So with that, everyone, sorry I'm running out of time this morning. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Everyone, have a great one. Get out there and get her done. Talk to you soon.